ITK chats with prominent names from the worlds of business, science, and culture. Influential with me, Katty Kay. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Today at one, the government says it will consider more military action against Houthi rebels in Yemen if they continue their attacks on shipping in the Red Sea. Last week, UK forces joined the United States in launching airstrikes against Houthi targets. Also in the programme, a damning report says the failures of police and council leaders meant girls in Rochdale were left at the mercy of paedophile gangs. More rail strikes. The Train Drivers Union announces a fresh wave of industrial action over pay. Inferno in Iceland. Homes burn as volcanic lava surges into the fishing port of Grindavik. It's a tough thought to think that, that this town might be over. And I would have to start all over somewhere else. Pouring money into potholes, but scientists say one solution could be roads that mend themselves. And more frustration for Andy Murray out of the Australian Open in the very first round. Coming up on BBC News, the Wimbledon champion Marketa Vondrosheva is out of the Australian Open after losing to Ukrainian qualified Ayana Yastremska in straight sets. Hello, good afternoon. The Defence Secretary, Grant Shapp, says the government will consider more military action against Houthi rebels in Yemen if they continue their attacks on cargo ships in the Red Sea. Last week, the UK and US launched joint airstrikes against Houthi targets. Meanwhile, Mr Shapps has also confirmed Britain is sending 20,000 personnel to join the biggest NATO military exercise in Europe since the Cold War. Is our defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale. Last week's decision to strike Houthi 